St. Joe Community Care Service has uh, been around since 1981, so we're actually celebrating our 40th anniversary this year, so good things to come. We've been serving St. Charles Lincoln and Warren County for that whole time. Our mission is to serve those in crisis and prevent homelessness and hunger. And what we do here is we're considered housers in this community, so we get federal, local, state, any kind of funding that we can to house people. And when I say that, I say that in, I mean, people who are in a housing crisis or people who are homeless on the street. Um, so we have a housing program where we can do one-time bill pay for people who really don't, who've, who've kind of fallen on hard times and just need that, that boost, that one-time boost. We have a case management program where families and individuals who need more intensive assistance, um, you know, need to rebuild lives from a job loss, from a death in the family, from anything that has happened that has put them um, just behind in, in their rent or their mortgage. But there's always something that happened that led up to that, so we try to rebuild from that point. So we offer case management in that, in that um, way. We offer we're a client choice food pantry, so we do have a food pantry. We serve about 125 to 150 families every week. Um, they come in and they pick out the food that they want. Uh, a few years ago we switched to client choice instead of just giving them a bag of food, we let them pick what they want. And we hope that they consider that a supplement to their food stamps. The majority of the people we serve do um, get food stamps. And so that will open up some funding for them to help pay their rent or the utilities. And we have a Christmas program, um, Adopt a Family, that's one time a year. We work with uh, several of the other agencies in this community and we work with several school districts up in Lincoln County to provide um, Christmas to over 500 families. Uh, this year was a little different. COVID has, has changed some things for us, so we did about 300 families, but we, we do that every year. Um, we have a street outreach program, which was started in 2016, and we serve, the majority of the people we serve in street outreach are single homeless men. Street Outreach is an, is an interesting program because it starts with the outreach to the people. We literally go and find them where they're at. So we don't expect them to come here, we go to them. We provide basic life saving supplies, tents, sleeping bags. And I know some people don't like that we give people tents and sleeping bags, but people, a basic human need is shelter. And you know, a sleeping bag is in a tent is gonna keep them warm and safe and you know, out of the streets. So we provide food, hygiene items, um, we have also are able to provide um, assistance in getting IDs, birth certificates, and getting some medical work done. We've had a partnership with uh, SSM St. Joseph's where they've sent a medic with us to, um, to check on the people who are out on the streets, their medical needs, you know, to try to keep them out of the emergency room. And uh, we provided tens of thousands of dollars in medical care. Um, that was through a grant from the Missouri Foundation for Health, which really cemented this program in this community. So um, trying to get them employed and stable so we, they are not on the streets anymore. And since the beginning of the program in 2016, we've housed 81 of the men that have come through the program, which in four years, five years, 81 may not seem like a big number, but when you're talking about the hardest people to house, the most barriers that you could ever think of, it's an amazing feat to get that many housed and to keep about 75% of them housed. Um, one of our very first uh, men, older gentleman that we found on the street, uh, very first year, 2016, uh, he had been a caretaker for his parents and he had that was his job. He didn't get paid for it, but he got free room and board and food. Well, his parents both died within about a month of each other, and he found himself on the streets. He was homeless. He didn't have any, he had been a porter before at a local grocery store, but he just didn't really have a lot of experience. So uh, we were able to, we found him, like I said, one of the first ones, I, I know his name, and uh, he was able to get a job at a local school district, um, at the St. Charles City School District. He got a job there. and he was able to, we were able to get him into an apartment where he remains to this day. Uh, he has a job, he's got a girlfriend, he's got a cat, he's happy, <laughs> and he still is one of those guys who anytime we need something, he will reach out, you know, and say, I'll speak for you, what do you need me to do? Um, we also have a, another a senior, a woman, um, who was near 90, who was being financially abused by her son and lost her apartment because of it and she was on the streets at, at that 
no woman, no senior should be on the streets at that age after, especially after working hard her entire life. So we were able to get her into a low income housing community and she loves it. She plays bingo, she has friends, she's, you know, probably extended her life. And we were also able to work with the police to have her son taken care of for his misdeeds and get the get her bank account back, get her social security, you know, work with her. She had a case manager. And all of these people have a case manager. So they're not just doing these things, you know, they're just, it's just not luck. They're working with their case manager. They're working just as hard as we are. So um, it's really, it's good. Now we've had, you know, we've had a lot more, but those are the two that stand out to me. We talk about wanting to get the people off the streets. Well, what we're gonna to need to do to get the people off the streets is provide services. If we don't want to provide services, then we're always gonna have homelessness out here. And it's, we have about 265 people that we see annually that are homeless on the streets. That's a big number. Are we gonna be able to shelter all of them in a shelter? Probably not. But the ones who want help and who want to make a better life these are these are veterans these are people who you know they're they're not you're they're not on the streets doing drugs they want to get off the streets i wish i could say that homelessness and hunger was going to end but i don't see that happening anytime soon we're working one person at a time to help that happen and that's all we can do is one person at a time but i think the you know my my predecessor always told me the poor will always be with us so we'll be here to serve